Okay, so on to example number six. Now, in example number six, uh, we're basically doing the exact same thing um, as far as composition goes that we did previously. Now we're just gonna evaluate the composition. And really the kind of main important thing here is we could go back to our previous examples and just apply the composition like with X and then plug in the value negative one, you know, or plug in whatever our input value is if we wanted to. Uh, we could go that route and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but usually that's probably gonna be a little consuming because as you remember, you know, these functions, you know, sometimes doing all that work, simplifying, you know, kind of sometimes took a little time, right? So the easiest thing that I like to do is go ahead and, you know, basically again, what this is saying is this is really saying f of g of negative one. So why don't we just evaluate for what g of negative one is and then go ahead and plug that into f. So g of negative one, let's remember what g of, okay, that's going to be, um, that's negative one squared minus four times negative one plus three, okay? So g of negative one here in this case is going to be uh, one, that's negative four times negative one is positive four. So that's gonna be one uh, plus four is five plus three is eight. So g of negative one is equal to eight. And now I can just plug, I can replace g of negative one with eight. So by doing that, I'm now really just evaluating f of eight. So f of eight is, uh, what is, oh, f of eight is, eight minus three. So eight minus three is just equal to five. Okay, so kind of doing the same thing here. Um, now again, remember this is basically saying h of nine. So h of nine, well, let's figure out what h of nine would be. h of nine is three square root of nine. Well, the square root of nine is three, three times three is equal to nine. And then we just need to plug nine into our j of x function. So j of h of nine equals, let's see, that's gonna be two over two times nine, and that's minus one, right? Plus one. Oh, plus one, yeah, good. Um, so let's see here, two times nine is 18, plus one is 19, so that's two over 19. And then last, not not to but last, not but last, last but not least, h of g of zero. So again, that is h of g of zero. So let's figure out what g of zero is first. So g of x is, uh, man, I hate my g of x. That's going to be my zero squared minus four times zero uh, plus three. Is that what I plan on doing? Is that what I did? Oh, I guess I didn't even write that one in. Hmm. G of zero, so let's see, G of zero, that becomes zero, that's zero, so that's just going to be three. And now I'm gonna plug in that into my H of X function, which is going to be, so H of G of zero is gonna be three, radical three. And there's really nothing else I can do with that, so I'll just leave that as that answer. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you co compose, but then also go ahead and evaluate the composition.